It's worth about anywhere from two to three thousand. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I have water wings on. I didn't know this color existed. <laughs> I did not think it was going to be this hard. Hi, I'm Nina. Hi, I'm Jasmine. Hi, I'm Chloe. And today, we're going to be trying cheap versus expensive evening gowns. <gasps> All right, so what do y'all think about evening gowns? I wish I had more occasions to wear them. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't live a fancy socialite gala life. <laughs> the closest I ever came was in college. I studied opera, and so for my recitals, I used to have to have gowns. That's Ooh, cool. That's really cool. I love the idea of evening gowns, but I don't think I've ever actually worn like a real nice evening gown. The last time I even wore a gown was to like a costume party. I wear a lot of fancy dresses. Some would be considered gowns. When I go to events, I'm like, well, if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna f go. So we thought we would try and see if we could get the cheapest possible gowns that we can find from somewhere online. And then we're having a stylist come in who has chosen for us some super fancy high-end gowns that we would never be able to afford on our own. What would your preferred style be with a gown? So I'm someone that keeps it pretty simple and like classic. I think for today, I actually want to do something different and I want to do something that's a little more avant-garde and a little more like fashion forward. I think I'm looking for something that has a glam element and like a glitz element, I would love to look like a disco ball oh, yeah. in an ideal world. I think with me, I tend to go a little bit more like classic silhouette, a little bit um, like body hugging. I always add to it, whether it's cool makeup or accessories or earrings. So last time we tried our little swimsuits yes. and it was a lot. Yes. Um, how are you guys feeling about gowns? This time I want to find something that I actually would wear that is at the best possible price. Because I feel like last time I just kind of found whatever was the cheapest. Yeah. Last time I had the most expensive piece. And so this time I don't want to have the most expensive piece. Uh. I want to win. The piece I chose last time was kind of safe and basic. This time because I want something a little bit more glam, I wanted to have a little bit of Yeah. 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 Last time I had such a different high-end experience than you guys yes. had. I feel like finding swimwear being plus size like sucks. And then when you add high end onto it. We didn't find stuff that was 500, no. 600 plus dollars. No. It was mainly 200, 300. So I'm hoping that this time it's similar to you guys. I know that there are some designer gowns out there that are plus size and very expensive. Mm -hmm. So I know they do exist. Good. So for the cheap, cheap, cheap side of this, we're gonna try and keep it under 50 bucks per gown, which could be quite difficult because I know like an average sort of gown for like prom or whatever would be like 100, 150. But we want to see what we can find for that price and see if we can actually find stuff that's wearable. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go shopping. If I can't get both kind of form fitting and sparkly stuff, at least I want like one or the other. Maybe I can look into renting a dress and that would be a nicer dress for a cheaper price. I'm willing to have it be more around 35. I don't think it needs to be 10 or 15. I'm gonna start on Amazon, I think. Ooh, this green dress is very pretty and very in our price range, but I kind of don't love this sleeve area. This one's kind of pretty, but the reviews are not that great. These are too expensive. Rent? Is there any really nice ones? Black tie? That's still very expensive. I'm going to look at ASOS first because I know their dresses. They're usually cute. I know my size. These are dresses. I'm not sure if any of these look like gowns. I found a couple dresses on Revolve that are kind of around the price point that I'm looking for, but one, they're not really my style, and the color is just very not me. Poche. Never heard of it. Okay. Still too expensive. I would wear this to any man. It's pretty basic, but I feel like I could dress that up. I am like really struggling with this. I did not think it was going to be this hard. So I've been looking for so long. I've looked on Misguided, a bunch of different ones, Boohoo. I think I might be taking this a little bit too seriously and I just need to pick something. It was like the only thing that would pass as a gown. It's also a bridesmaid's dress. It says that it's blue, but it looks white. I came back to Amazon. I did find this dress that I think is pretty cute. There aren't a ton of reviews, but some of the reviews are good. 
good. It's not as sparkly as like I want it to be. It is a nice shape. Okay, so this one is in budget. It looks kind of fashion-y. I don't know if like up close it might look a bit cheap. I really like this one. This one is $10 over the limit. I might have to go a little higher. $28 is very inexpensive. Not 100% what I would love. I hope I can make this work. Normally I would get like a black, but I'm gonna branch out. I'm gonna be different. I'm gonna get a navy blue. I'm a little bit nervous for the fit. All I need is just got a zip. <laughs> I think I might go with this one. I really like the bow situation. It's not like as glammed out as I'd hoped, but it is kind of more on the fashion side. Final decision. Done. The gowns are in. Ooh, exciting. Here you go, Nina. Oh. Ooh. It certainly doesn't look high, high end, but I don't think it looks like it's under $50. No. no. Oh. Well, wow. this uh, is a bridesmaid's dress. <laughs> it's awesome. bluer than I thought it was. It looked white. I think like once I get into it, hopefully my body will just rock it out. I've never seen you in this color. I've never in such a pastel before. I didn't know this color existed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last but not least. Yes. Okay. Oh, I okay. love the color. Got a bow. We are a statement. I did I did the thing. Does right. it feel the nicest? We all got off the shoulder ones. All yeah. of us. Oh, oh yeah, did. that's funny. This was 60 bucks. I went over that. Chloe. Chloe, you broke the rules. I broke the rules, I broke the rules! Now you get punished. <laughs> I think for you, you were looking for something a little more avant-garde, like a statement, uh -huh. which I think is harder to find at a lower price point. All right, well, uh, let's change. Yeah, let's go try them on. Woo! Gowns. 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 How do you feel? It actually fits me pretty nicely. Yeah, it does. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little off, but it's actually great. I like the style. The only thing I don't like is I don't like the fabric. Yeah. It just looks a little cheap. Oh yeah, that. <gasps> What is this? There's a little hole right here. It's a nipple. A hole? Nope. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Nipples. I do like this though. I don't know yeah. if else It's does. cute. The bow element is really cool. Yeah. I feel like we don't need the yes. no. Yeah. I What's do. going on here? I feel like I have water wings on. <laughs> I feel like this kind of takes away from the bow. This part that's like the fake wrapping of the bow was like over. Yeah. That would like, make sense. You know what I Let's mean? Let's just redesign the dress. Let's yeah. do it. I think we can. Jazz, yeah. I really like yours. Oh, the Thanks. color. Yeah, I the know. Color. The color's different for me, but yeah. it's still cute. Taking this as one at event dress and two as a bridesmaid's dress, mm -hmm. like I'm here for both of them. I think what saves it is this almost tuxedo-esque neckline and I like how it shows off my tattoos so it's still obviously still my personality. It feels good for this to be on sale for 28 bucks. I'm pretty happy. Yeah. How do you feel? I actually really like this. I will say it is, a, I think it's a touch big. If I wanted to wear this on the reg, I would get it a little bit tailored because like if I relax my body, this part's like. Yeah, What's it yeah. supposed to do though? I don't know. I like it. I have a problem with this fabric. That fabric looks kind of cheap. Old and old, cheap. Old and this, cheap. <laughs> this to me looks like just this part right yeah, here. Yeah, I, I, I wish it was just the same fabric. Yeah. The lower fabric feels really nice. It yeah. has like a good amount of volume. Like I can get a good. Ooh, a little spin. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah. we know how much you love to move. I think this is a really good option for like litziness under $50, but that still looks expensive. Yes. I think we all did pretty good. You went I'm... over, but it's okay. We could get away with going to a red carpet in these if you didn't come too close to us. We but could yeah, photograph from a distance very well. Thing, if you're doing it just for photos, I think it would be fine. Yeah. yeah. I am very excited to see the super high end ones. I'm excited. Okay, well, let's get out of these gowns and meet the stylist. Oh. Woo! Hello! Hello! Welcome! Hi. Thank Tell you. us about yourself. I'm Devin. Um, I'm a stylist, and I brought some beautiful gowns for you guys to try on today. Yay! Yay. So, Nina's gown is by Ronnie Zakam. Whoa! Whoa. It's heavy! It's very heavy. It's worth about anywhere from two to three thousand. <gasps> wow! <laughs> I mean, this wow. is really incredible. And like, my arm is getting tired holding yeah. it. It's very yeah. heavy. There's so much work on it. I definitely tend to go for dresses that have a little more support. My cheap version was like a cold shoulder, so I feel like halters put a bit of a strain on my neck. But I'm willing to suffer through it because this is so pretty. All right, the next dress. Ooh. Ooh. 
Nice. I'm interested in this. Yep, Christian Siriano one. dress. Oh, I love Siriano. Same. 1600. Yeah. Okay. Very elegant and classic. And yeah. I love the detail at the bottom. So Christian Siriano is known for, you know, his inclusive designs and he's dressed many plus size celebrities. Mm -hmm. But I find it generally pretty hard to find plus size gowns. Yeah. Unless, you know, you're someone extremely famous. And there's like levels to it too where you can find a dress, but is it cute? I'm excited to at least have this. It's f***ing Siriano, so. All right. Let's move on to the last dress. This is Gustavo Cadile. Oh. Beautiful. Oh my God. It's a fur baby. You yes. Wanted it's couture. got great texture. This is probably around $3,000. Nice. This was part of one of his runaway collections. I mean, oh. I can't stop touching it. I know. Yeah. Feel. Yeah. It's so pretty. This is actually so perfect for what I wanted because I wanted something that like I don't usually wear. Yeah. And I definitely don't usually wear what is basically a beautiful carpet. Let's put them on. I'm very oh ready. God, let's put them on. Okay, we're gonna go now. Okay. Wow. Ooh. Bam. Oh. <laughs> How are we feeling? I can't breathe. Me neither. Oh, uh, oh. Fancy gowns are smaller than normal gowns. Mm -hmm. It looks perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. so not used to this color. I'm so not used to this fabric. Uh -huh. And I'm so not used to anything that actually gives me a shape. And the fabric just like takes it to a whole new. A whole new level. Level, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just can't stop like I know, I want to touch you. Oh. It definitely looks expensive. It's the draping good. looks very expensive. You can really only drape like this by hand. Oh. Yeah. Well, it also has it at the back too, yeah. which is really cool. It yeah. looks like you murdered the fanciest unicorn. Oh. And wow. No. Wore him out. As, a, know, as a prize. Yeah. As a prize. Because it looks expensive <laughs> and rare. Uh, okay, well, let's move on to Jess. I love this dress. It's very similar to my first one and like body hugging mm -hmm. and how it went off my shoulders, but this is just done so much more rich. I love that the fringe at the bottom is on a slant. Like it looks expensive and chic, but it also just like feels very jasmine. And I think I would honestly have to step up my game because I think I would wear heels with this. <gasps> mm -hmm. I know. This and is you know big. I, wow. I know. This is big. It's so comfortable. I can twerk. Oh, that's what you I need. can walk. I can breathe. <laughs> yeah, turn around. I want to see the fringe in the back. I didn't realize it was quite this long. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's the little details that make us rich. Mm-hmm. Nice. Let's go over to Neen. Okay. This is a f***ing lot, but I love it. Oh, my God. The bottom of that dress is gorgeous. Yes, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I cannot breathe. The halter is really about to decapitate me, oh. but... It's worth it. It's like that naked beating kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. But it doesn't feel super naked. Like I know there's a shadow of you wearing underwear, but I didn't even notice. Yeah. We've all seen like a beaded dress, but it's never it's not usually this like intricate. It looks like so much work went into it, not yes. just like a machine mm -hmm. printed it out. Well, it's also really deliberate because you've got like different patterns in different parts of your body. Like right. I think it's deliberately yeah, like made that. for the shape of the body. I said I wanted to be a disco ball. Now I'm a little pink disco ball. Do we think that these dresses are worth the prices? I think that my dress is definitely worth the price. Two to three thousand feels very fair. I will just not pay rent for a couple months and oh, oh my, <laughs> take it. Why not? Live in the dress. I wouldn't blink at this price knowing that one, it's Siriano, two, that it's, um, it just feels so structured. I think if I had that cash to spend freely, I'd be like, charge up. This is beautiful and everything. I just can't freaking breathe. Like if it was fitted more to my body, I think it would be worth the price because it is really freaking cool and different. Thank you so much for helping us and pulling these Thank beautiful you. dresses. You're welcome. All right, so that was an experience. Yeah. yeah. What'd you guys think overall? There's definitely a difference between cheap and expensive. Uh -huh. The cheap ones are passable for what you need them to be for like a night. They're solid dresses. Yeah. But these expensive ones, I mean. I feel kind of like in the middle because I'm like, yes, these are great, but also our inexpensive ones, they were good for what they totally. were. The kinds of events that I usually go to, I don't need something like this, mm -hmm. but if I ever go anywhere like crazy high end, then I would maybe try and like rent something like this for a night or yeah, something. Yeah, definitely. So are we in agreement that we prefer the expensive? Yeah, yeah. I think I do prefer the expensive. I think we're just bougie. All right, I think it's time to uh, bounce off out of here okay. in these beautiful gowns. Thanks, Thanks for joining guys, goodbye. Yes.